Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. We have a blog hop to celebrate the release of our newest class. It's called In the Mood, and I love that name because mm, it has a couple different meanings, but we are in the mood to stamp because of the inspiration from all the mood boards. So if you are not familiar with mood boards, it's a series or clustering of photos that have a similar feel and theme to them. So Maureen put six different mood boards, actually seven. There is a bonus mood board, so be sure to subscribe this week so you can get that bonus mood board. It has um, one of my favorite projects in it. So you will have lifetime access to that. And we have a special mood board that is just for this blog hop. So I am going to show you in this video how I was inspired by the mood board. I'm gonna teach you a really fun, quick technique, and then be sure to hop along the hop to see how the other designers are inspired by the same board. Be sure to check out our class. It is getting rave reviews. It's so inspirational. There's so much to learn inside. You'll have lifetime access to it, and I know you refer to it time and time again. So without further ado, let's get started on today's project. two simple cards that I've created with one technique piece. I'll let you have a really close look. Do you remember a few weeks ago or maybe a month or two ago I did the floating inlaid die cut technique? Well this is ex exactly the same. I have a piece of acetate behind here because I wanted to lay my die cut back into the design or into the card but there was nothing for it to kind of glue onto, right? Unless it was flat on the card base. And I wanted this to pop up. So I just put a piece of acetate behind and then that allowed my butterfly to sit on top of that. And now it looks like it's floating. So I may make a couple more of these with the technique piece I'm about to do. And then this one, I just cut out flowers. So let me back up for a second. Let me talk about the mood board. The colors are absolutely stunning the blue and the turquoise and the purple and then a little splash of green so I pulled out some alcohol inks in green purple and blue and that's where I got my color palette from and then of course there are flowers on there and the ones that are very subtle and they're kind of like a watercolor they made me want to make a card that was very clean and simple and very um, well lit lots of white okay so that's why I have mostly white on here which is a splash of color and then I have the gold little enamel dots and a little bit of washi tape with gold arrows and that is inspired by the pair of earrings with the gold on them so that's how I got inspired here and butterfly I was trying to stay away from butterflies but I just couldn't help it I had to do a butterfly so that's where this came in now for this technique, you're going to want to get some, this is specialty stamping paper by Ranger. Also just regular glossy cardstock is going to work. What I am going to do first is just lay down some color. You can see how that starts spreading around. I want it to be mostly purple and blue, so I'm not going to do too much green. And then I have alcohol blending solution. If you don't have this little bottle, no problem. You can just use rubbing alcohol. And the alcohol ink reacts with the blending solution or rubbing alcohol and makes really cool, well, a really cool background. So I'm just going to splatter that on all over, kind of mix this around some. Some of this is getting a little muddy here, so I may just kind of mop some up. And then if I want more color, don't be afraid, just add it on. You can let this air dry or you can hit it with your heat tool. If you hit it with your heat tool, it dries really fast because this is alcohol, so that alcohol is going to evaporate, evaporate <laughs> very quickly. That's all there is to it. That is how I made the technique piece to cut these little accents out of. Pretty simple, right? Now be sure to visit all the designers blogs so you can see how they interpreted this mood board. I know you are going to get so much inspiration. I'm going to learn a bunch along the way that you can apply to your own card making. And be sure to leave comments along the way. We have 10 free class registrations hidden along the hop. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the hop.